up you guys it's me jay bella and we're back again for another video so today's video is going to be 24 things that i learned while being 24 my birthday is around the corner literally two weeks away and i thought this would be the perfect time to share my tips and tricks with y'all so let's get started The first thing that I learned was to take time for solitude, take time for yourself, to be with yourself, to learn yourself, to learn your dislikes and likes, to really understand your personality, your morals, what are you willing to deal with? It is so important. And I'm probably going to say everything I learned is so important, but it truly is. You need to learn how to be with yourself. You need to learn not to be codependent on people. You need to figure out what it feels like to be truly on your own, getting yourself together, getting your life together. I'm not saying completely cut everybody off, but spending time with yourself and really taking time to get to know yourself and enjoying your own company, it's a blessing to do. I, I promise you, it is a blessing to do. I currently live with my family. Love them down. Love them down. But the solitude that I had while being on campus chef's kiss <laughs> chef's kiss it's just it's just different your stuff stay in the same place you just you get ample amount of time just to be with yourself to get yourself together and i am at aries i need time to myself to get with my thoughts like baby take time for yourself please 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 the second thing I learned was to add value to everything. I was talking to my friends recently and I tell them all the time, like, I really just want to be intentional. I really just want to be in tune with my life right now. Like, I really want to romanticize my life. And something that I recently started doing when I cook, I listen to jazz music. And it may sound a little strange, like, girl, what? We got the Cardis, we got the Lottos, we got the Megans. Like, why are you up in your kitchen listening to jazz music? Honestly, it feels like I'm in a movie. <laughs> it feels like I'm in a movie. It feels like I'm on the next hit TV series. Everything just feels different. I feel more intentional. I feel like everything slows down. I feel like I'm really focusing on what I'm doing. Yeah, very intentional. Just trying to really be in tune. Once again, being in tune with myself. So add value to things in your life. Be intentional. That's the second thing that I learned. Number three, the third thing that I learned was it is okay to grow out of friendships. I'm telling you, it is okay to grow out of friendships. It is okay. I'm not saying that you guys can't ever be friends again, that y'all past won't reconnect. All I'm saying is you are on a plane and they are in a car and you're going two different directions. Got two different destinations right now, okay? And so for you to really become the person you need to be and for your friend or friends to become the people they need to be, y'all need some time away from each other. Y'all need some time to reflect. There's plenty of friendships that I am not, we are not growing in the same pot right now. We are in two different pots and we are two different plants, okay? I'm not saying that we can't be in the same garden at one point in time. All I'm saying is, it's just we're not connecting right now. You know, the same beast is not pollinating us right now, okay? And that is okay. Number four, surround yourself with like-minded people. So yes, if that friendship is gone, that friendship, you know, is just doing what it's doing over there, you need to find people who think like you, who have similar personalities like you, who like the same things that you like. It's just, it's so, so, so important. It's so important. You're going to be a lot more motivated. You're going to be a lot more intentional. You're going to be a lot more open-minded. Having people who think like you, having people who are on the same time as you having people who are out there going and getting it it's, it's different and i even just being around like i don't know if you're creative but if you're creative you completely understand what i am talking about you probably got a photographer in your group you got an artist in your group you got a painter in your group and when i said artist i meant like musical artists like you a rapper singer whatever and then y'all just collab on things and y'all just make magic and you make content and you just push out 
work and y'all push each other to do better like it's just a different type of energy a different type of mindset that you will be in if you surround yourself with like-minded people so get on it <laughs> get number five get rid of that relationship and i'm not talking about the platonic one i'm not talking about with the like-minded people i'm talking about that romantic relationship baby that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that little toxic person that you with cut it off Cut it out. I'm not playing with you. Get out of it. And this and this is coming from a place of love. All of the things that I say in this video is coming from a place of love and understanding. Get out that relationship. You do not need it. You do not want them. You are with them for whatever they provide you in the moment, at the time, in the space, whatever. But you don't need it. You don't. You need yourself. You need to get to that bag. You need to do the things you need to do. Number six, try again. And I'm not talking about anything with a ship at the end. I promise you, I promise you, what I mean by try again is try again on that endeavor. Try again on that passion project. Try again on that one thing that keeps you up late at night that you can't get out your head because you really want to do it, but you're scared to do it. Try again. I know you gave it a week. I know you gave it a month. You probably gave it a couple years. And honestly, I'm telling you right now, if you were, you were probably this close. As long as it's not harming you, it's not harming anybody else. It's not going to put you in jail. It's not going to kill you. Like, try again. Try again. Give it a really good effort this time. Give it 100%. I feel like last time you gave it 75. And 75 is passing. But you you want to give it 100. You want to you wanna get 100% out of it. Whatever you want out of it. So you need to put 100% in it to get the 100% out of it. So try again. Number seven, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Once again, this is coming from a place of love. I was sick for almost a month. Okay? Almost a month. That's the longest I've ever been sick my entire life. And it was different stages of me being sick. But nonetheless, I was sick. And it really put things in perspective for me. Like, <laughs> it, it, it put a lot of things in perspective. That's it. Honestly, it's one of the reasons why I'm making this video. Because I did a lot of self-reflection. It's, it, it's so important to take care of yourself. And even when you think you're taking care of yourself, even when you go into Target and you're spending over $100 on all the fun little TikTok self-care items, not saying that you're not taking care of yourself, by buying things that make you happy, but you need to be really focusing on the needy gritty, on taking care of your body, or getting that water intake, of eating healthy foods, of eating your veggies, you know, just really being in tune with yourself. Taking care of yourself is a spiritual practice. You know, regardless of what you believe in, it is a spiritual practice. You need to be in tune with, with your life, with the world, so you can be in tune with yourself. Okay? Number eight. And I'm still working on this one, so there is no judgment. But learn financial literacy. Learn how to invest. Learn how to save. I know you want to travel. I know you want to go on that trip with your girls. I know you want to buy that purse, them shoes, that whatever. But you really need to invest in yourself. You need to invest in yourself. The sooner you do it, the better off you'll be. And if Number nine, create boundaries with people. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know you don't want to do it. I know you don't know what the outcome is going to be. That's why you've been procrastinating on it. But you do not get a cookie for suffering in silence. You don't. You don't. You do not get a cookie for being miserable when you are in control of setting boundaries with people. Take the time. Figure out what you want to say, how their reaction has nothing to do with you. It has it has nothing to do with what you say. You're, you're, you're standing up for yourself. You're putting yourself first. And I will commend you on that because you deserve to feel safe. You deserve to feel heard. And you deserve to feel seen. So set them boundaries. Set them now. Okay? Okay. Okay. So number 10, travel. Travel, travel, travel. I know I just said you need to save money. I know I just said you needed to invest. 
but you're gonna save the money you're gonna invest so you have money so you can travel okay i got i got a plan i got a plan i just need the platform okay so travel it is very important you are gonna be introduced to new cultures new people just <sighs> Just life, just life has so much to offer. And in a time where we don't know what's going to happen, we don't know who's going to be president, we don't know what the world is going to look like literally in the next year, <laughs> take the time to do the things that you need to do now so you can travel, so you can live your life because it's important. <laughs> it's important. Find your third or fourth space or fourth space. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the space outside of school, outside of work. I'm sorry if you can hear my computer. My computer being real loud, real disrespectful. <laughs> but anyway, it is the space outside of work, outside of school, outside of your home that you go to to just release some tension, to really get in tune with yourself you you can even find your people there like-minded people that's the fourth thing i learned baby that is the fourth thing that i learned so find your third or fourth space like i said it's either outside of school outside of your home or outside of work that you will go to and you tend religiously to get back in tune with yourself to become one with yourself and like i said you can also surround yourself with like-minded people because that is the fourth thing that i learned either rekindle that relationship with your siblings or create a closer relationship with your siblings child listen they do not how you remember y'all childhood is completely different how they remember y'all childhood it's completely different y'all have two completely different perspectives you understand that they didn't know what you were going through they didn't know what demons that you were fighting and vice versa so how you treated them, how they treated you, however it was, how, how the life that y'all lived, the struggles that y'all had. Like I said, two different perspectives. And once y'all really sit down and have that conversation and truly understand both sides of the story, y'all can come together. And even if it doesn't bring y'all closer, at least you got to sit down and understand how they felt at whatever time they felt and the reason why y'all not as close as y'all were. Or the reason why y'all were never close. Go ahead, have that conversation with your siblings, have those hard conversations, set those boundaries, be very intentional. Go ahead, call, call your sibling up, okay? Okay. Find a hobby. And this does not have to be a hobby that you monetize. This could be for play, play, for fun, fun. Um, if you are in a relationship, this is a great way to get away from that person, okay? Okay, you need to get from underneath that person. Stop being codependent. <laughs> Stop being codependent. Leave them alone. Let them go hang out whoever they want to hang out with. Let you go do whatever you need to do. Get a hobby. Get a hobby. Start reading. Even if you are reading, if you're an active reader, continue doing what you're doing, baby. You're doing great. If you are not, go ahead. Go ahead. They literally have a genre for everything. Literally have a genre for everything. You will find what you're looking for. You may even find your people while you're looking for what you're looking for, okay? So, start reading. It's fundamental. Get into it. Buy yourself flowers. And if you do not like flowers, buy yourself a plant. And if you're not a green thumb, buy yourself that is relatively cheap <laughs> that you like to make yourself happy, to brighten your day, to brighten your week, okay? Get some vitamin D. It's good for your skin. It's good for your hair. It's good for your overall energy levels. It may reduce your appetite too if you're trying to lose weight. Get in the sun if you can. And if you can't, get the capsule or the drops form. You already know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and say it because it's important. Yes, yes. Everybody needs sunscreen. Everybody needs sunscreen. And if you don't believe me, I will insert some pictures. Y'all see that? Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? You need sunscreen. You think the summer is going to be 2016, Drake all summer 2016. Like, you think it's going to be that summer. That summer you really going to act up, get snatched up. You think it's really going to be that hot girl summer when you too busy peeling your skin because you ain't had no sunscreen on. Okay? So go ahead. 
go to the store, go to Target, go to Walmart, go wherever, go to Amazon, <laughs> and go get you some sunscreen. Period. On mindful walks, all right? Go out, get you that vitamin D, go have sunscreen on, and go walk your neighborhood. Hopefully it's safe, you know? And then if not, you can carry a couple things on you, okay? But go out in your neighborhood, go experience people, go people watch, get some fresh air in them lungs. Just just go experience outside, okay? And what outside has to offer for you. Go on mindful walks, get off your phone, okay? Give yourself a break, go on mindful walks. Go out and try something new. If you can't do it once a week, try to do it once a month. You can go to a pottery class. You can go to a sip and paint. You go to a library, an opera show. You could go, honestly, you can really do anything. You go to a jazz club. Just go out, go experience your neighborhood, go experience your city for real, for real, especially if you are in a new city and you've never been there before, you just moved. Go out and, ex go out and explore, go try something new. It is what? Important. Just go have fun. Go have fun. Go make Enhance your appearance. It's not that you're ugly, you know. It's not that we don't think you're cute, that you're not that girl. But do something fun. Something that you can truly enjoy. That is not, I mean, do something a little risky, but nothing you're going to regret. So if it's a piercing, if it's a tattoo, if it's dyeing your hair, if it's cutting your hair, go do it. Go do it. You only live once. You only live once. Go do it. Number 24, stop your vice. Number 24, stop your vice. Stop it. I'm not saying permanently. A amount of time, okay? A good amount of time. All right? You know it's not helping you right now. You was already thinking about taking a little breaky break from whatever it is. You don't have to tell me. But yeah, stop that vice. Stop that vice. Whatever it is, stop it. Take a little break. Because you, you may be overdoing it. So take a break. Number 25, check in on your friends. Check in on your friends. Check in on your friends. I cannot stress this enough. Just because they are on social media, just because they are always tweeting, posting, whatever it may be, does not mean they are mentally, physically, emotionally okay. They low-key may be trying to keep it with the Joneses. They low-key may got their lights off right now, you know? Like, go check on your friends. Go make sure they're okay. Pause this video right now. Call them, text them, email them, send a pigeon. <laughs> do what you got to do to get in contact with them. But go check it on them. Maybe even take them out on a little daily date. Like, go check it on your friends. Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. I don't know what you're going. <clears throat> give your, give yourself grace. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what you've experienced in your lifetime. But really sit down and be one with yourself. And tell yourself that I've been through it. I done did what I needed to do to get to this point in time in my life. And now I need to woo and reconnect. Also, while you're giving yourself grace, make sure that you're still being disciplined. Be mindful of how you give yourself grace. Also continue to be disciplined. Um, but take breaks when unneeded. Step away from wherever you need to step away from when needed. Get together. Forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. This goes hand in hand with giving yourself grace. Um, <clears throat> forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. This goes hand in hand with giving yourself grace. I don't know what struggles you've come from. I don't know what you've conquered. I don't know what you survived from, but you did it. Um, whatever happened is in the past. And if you are on the track of getting your life together, you're on the track of literally turning your life completely around. You are deserving to forgive yourself. You are deserving to acknowledge what you did, what you've been through, whatever it may be. And um, leave that in the past. Leave that there. Forgive yourself. You're, you're doing better now. You're, 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 
mending relationships that you may have tarnished like forgive yourself forgive yourself um and you may have not even done nothing crazy for real like you may have just not been your best self during a certain period of time like it, it could not even be as crazy as i was kind of making it seem but forgive yourself move on do what you need to do to continue to better yourself and on that note i'm going to wrap this video up all right that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you like watching videos like these make sure you comment like and subscribe and until next time be everything and fear nothing bye